So, I've been thinking for a while um, about trim and tilt on smaller motors because uh, it would be very nice as you're driving along and hit some waves, you want to bring the nose down or trim it out a bit. Um, so, I've had a thought, which is uh, this motor here, well, trunk is off a 40 horsepower Suzuki um, and it does have power trim and tilt. Um, so my plan is to use the clamp bracket off this motor, um, none of the trunk and stuff, and get my motor. Get rid of this clamp bracket here, and somehow mount the swivel bracket into the Suzuki. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking, and we'll see how it goes. Woo! Okay, so I've pinched some parts off this um, parts motor. So uh, not much left on that now. <laughs> um, so there's a clamp bracket. Um, I'll probably yeah, utilize this pivot tube. Been grinding for quite a while. Um, I'll show you where I'm up to. So here is what I'm left of the tilt bracket, uh, tilt tube from the 15 horsepower, 18 horsepower motor. Um, yeah. Lots of bits everywhere, cut off, um, and I have cut this tube down um, to the height I need. So this thing now is a tight fit. Um, I'll just get a hammer. So now that's um yeah. Quite a tight fit, both bottom and top in this tube. This tube's like a, um, a slight cone shape. Welding time. All right, so that's the bottom welded. Um, so pretty happy with that. All right, I'm all finished on the uh, tilt and trim on the 15 horsepower. Um, I still haven't done a uh, trigger for the uh, trim and tilt. I've looked into the parts on the like tilt and trim unit. This um, pump is off a 55-65 horsepower Suzuki, and the trim uh, or the ram in this. Um, is also off the same 55-65 horsepower, but the 55-65 have two rams, which is why this moves so fast, because this um, pump normally feeds two rams, whereas here it's just feeding the one, so it's getting twice the amount of hydraulic fluid, um, but it is a um, yeah tilt and trim ram. Um, I was concerned it wasn't because of the speed of it, but yeah, it'll be fine. All right. About the speed of my uh, race boat trim. So yeah, to trim it as I'm underway, I'll probably just be tapping it. Until I get the desired yeah, angle on the boat, and it'll be the same on the way down. I love it. Very cool. Yeah, so all finished. I just need to uh, do a little bit of wiring and all good. I think I'm gonna put the um, tilt and trim button just in the gunnel on the inside here, so I can hold there and 
as I'm driving, I can just yeah use my thumb. Um, anyway, that's the plan. I love it.